Alright, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII New Thread. So I finally figured out exactly why I was having recording issues the other day, which was because somehow when OBS updated it decided it was going to uh, just swap over to software encoding, which sucks because I don't want to use software encoding, I want to use hardware encoding. I don't think there was anything else I needed to do. Oh yeah, right. Whatever. Not important. So, I went and swapped around all my materia. I'm using Garish and Iris this time around. Iris... Oh, I'll equip the... Do I even want to do that, though? I don't think I want to do this right now, because I kind of want to level up the gravity materia. I remember it being super important in the Nibelheim Mansion to have uh, Demi 2. So I really want to make sure that that is level 2 by the time I make it there. And I'm hoping I'm good on that front because I'm a double growth weapon and it's only got 970 to go. AP gains are probably increasing, so I can probably expect this to work out kind of well. Oh no, wait, but I go to the Nibelheim Mansion before I go to Mount Nibelheim. Well, crud. For some reason, I didn't think that through. Well, that's kind of unfortunate. Last time I ran, I had... Why am I bothering? Because last time I ran, I had level 2 gravity materia, but this time it looks like I'm not going to have it. Which kind of sucks. I think I'm going the right direction here. Because level 2 gravity materia basically just one-hit KOs everything. So... Alright, so what do I want to do here? I don't have any fire, so I'm just going to magic missile them. <laughs> Matro magic them. Interesting that there's a person there. Who on earth is that? Red Bandit. Okay. I'm uh, pretty sure it's completely new. I don't think there were any humanoid. Wow, that did some damage. I suppose I'll bio this guy since I have it. Conveniently enough. I wonder how low that knocked him. Yeah. Oh boy, what is that doing? Oh, it brought the other wolf back. Well, infinite morphs, I suppose. <laughs> Not that I'll do it. Um, I'm going to reach an end very quickly, so let's hit him with Quake 2. That also means that some of the gear I've got equipped is going to be wrong. And I also don't have sense anywhere. I should remedy that. Until then, I'm not going to bother... I'm, I'm not going to bother trying to morph anything. Because if I'm way off, it'll just take forever. I guess I can steal, though. Nope, didn't get it. Whatever it is. I might as well save the healing wind for the actual dungeon, because then it will consume resources if I try to actually use a restore. I'm gonna try Goblin Punch just for kicks and giggles, because I don't really care. Nope, that wasn't a very large amount of damage. Oh yeah, right. I hit him from behind, that's why Garish did so much. I should have checked how much AP I was getting. Yeah, that was 80 AP. Still not as fast as I'd like it to be, but I'll probably need to take several trips to the mansion anyways. So with that in mind, I think I should swap out Shiva for Choco Mog, because that should still wipe the floor with a lot of things in this dungeon at the cost of a ton of MP. Elemental Ice should be something Elemental Wind. I hope I have something else that's Elemental Wind. I was looking at the wrong spot. I'll transform as Wind. So I guess he's getting the transform materia. Whoop-de-doo. 
sense has to go on somebody. I think I had something kind of mediocre on you. Oh. I guess since it's going on cloud, that's the best I can do with it. Um, okay, now it's actually going to let me in the town. Now we complain that the town isn't burned to the ground, like we thought it was. I'm not lying, it's just, there's a town here that I thought was burned, and it wasn't burned. That's not suspicious at all, right? What's your story? Looks good to me. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> it actually gave me a different line. <laughs> He's actually clearly annoyed at me for... Uh, for questioning the existence of the town that's right here. I don't think there's any... Oh, right. I think some of these guys actually give me stuff, so I should talk to them. So yeah, kind of a weird town. All these people who are actors and shouldn't be here, and then all those black cape dudes running around. person just does not say anything at all. Alright. I'm not gonna buy any of this stuff right now. Thank you. Well, as long as Sephiroth has given me elixirs, I think I can be friends with that guy. Gaslighting much. Oh. Well, this person doesn't. Oops. This person doesn't give me different lines of dialogue, which is kind of funny. You'd think the innkeeper would be the one to repeat his spiel over and over again. Hello, dog. You ready to lie about being here all your life? Is there anybody over here? Nope. I mean, they can't really put real chests in here because... Uh, otherwise be able to pick them up during the flashback, so these NPCs, I suppose, are the next best thing. Is that like a kid or something? Well, they didn't give me anything. I mean... I'll go to your family reunion if you just want to give me more stuff. I'm not going to complain about more stuff. Ooh, boy. Number 11. I think that guy's number one. Turbo ethers are nothing to sneeze at, that's for sure. Hello to you. Platinum Fist. Huh. Is this actually an upgrade? I haven't seen one before, so I'm assuming it is. Uh, let's arrange first. Magic and luck plus 15. That doesn't sound very good. Seems like an upgrade of the ground glove, but I don't think it's what I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm not going with a magic-oriented Tifa or anything, so... She's basically my only front row fighter until Sid shows up with some uh, cameos from Pandemona in that department. Hi, Mom. Oh, wait, you're not my mom. Oh, well, 
this is different. Oh, is it gonna force me to go into the mansion? Whoops. I'm going to save it before I do anything. No! That's the absolute last thing I want to do uh, before saving the game. Like, if I went to the battle and died, that would be a little bit embarrassing. But, if I actively quit the game by mistake... Well, I... it's... yeah, it's forcing me to go in there. Hey, guys. We're Avalanche. Yeah. <laughs> Your job is to kill us, right? Well, I guess that's what's gonna happen. Alright, I'll have you haste yourself. I'll summon Chocomog, maybe confuse two of these schmucks. Isn't quite what I wanted to do with it, but okay. I would have actually preferred Shiva here, because being able to slow them down would be very helpful. Confusion will probably not last very long, even if it works. I suppose it'll work on the grunts. And it doesn't look like it actually did. At least I got it off before we put the wall up. That's pretty cool. Um, so let's sense these guys, see how much HP they have. 6,800, weak against poison as you'd probably expect. Alright, I'll haste Cloud. They haven't done much damage yet. I should probably set up my barriers. At least Garish is taking all the hits for the moment. I actually want to mind blow this guy. Don't know if it'll work, but I'll sure try. I think he has a bunch of magic. And that sure take, took out a lot of magic. I don't know how much uh, MP he has. But a lot of enemies tend to have not very high MP in this game, so I'm hoping that was worthwhile to mind blow him. Garish is just eating these hits. Oh, that's not working so well. I'll try not to kill them too fast, but can't make any guarantees. I'm hoping they'll attack someone else beside Garish. Wow, a power wrist. Well, they attacked everyone, including Garish. I got a counterattack out of the deal too, which is pretty cool. So the power wrists, I don't really need a whole pile, but they sure sell for a lot. So, who am I kidding? I probably won't sell them as long as I have three or fewer, but... Fortunately, Garish has the wrong element, because he has wind element, and I wasn't... I should have probably swapped around my materia before entering this fight. Alright, let's... Let's just mind blow this guy again. I wish I sensed him by this point, but if I run him out of MP now, he's probably going to do a lot of silly things. I had some multi-target healing now. Ouch. Now Cloud's actually lower. And on Seizure. Good thing I healed him. And let's have Eris heal herself. I'll, get, I'll try to get rid of this guy before I steal the next power wrist. Hopefully Cross Slash will stun him for a bit. Yep, it worked. If I can get rid of these scumbags using Matra Magic, I, I'll i definitely feel a lot more confident. Is gravity element. If it is, then uh, Mr. 
sword wielder in the back is probably weak to gra Demi as well, which could be worthwhile. Alright, let's start stealing stuff. I should probably have tried to morph the guy too. I bet the guys in front at least will give me something cool. I suspect the guy in the back isn't going to morph for anything at all. So... Platinum Bangle. I got something different. And also really expensive. I need to sell something later on, which I may. Didn't get poisoned. That's unfortunate. I'm going to cure Cloud. May as well just use a regular cure, though. of MP. I suppose I should have just used Big Shot instead, but it was worth a shot at any rate. Who knows, maybe he'll start expending a lot more MP on other stuff later. Uh, don't steal from me, she thanks. An armlet. That's pretty rare, actually. Whoever gets hit by that is going to need healing. Garrett's just cure too, so he can heal decently well, as well, even though he has low magic. Alright, so I've gotten everything I can out of these guys, really. I'm going to laser Mr. Captain. Because I think he's vulnerable to gravity. Nope, he's not. That was worth a shot. That did about 700 damage, this does about 300. So that looks like it'll be fine. And that is less fine, but it won't kill anyone. And I'll use Healing Wind here for sure. I'm starting to think this guy's magic isn't really all that dangerous. I'm wondering if I should go the extra mile and knock it in half again, though. Because that, that could realistically run him out. Well, I guess his arrow, arrow 2 is kind of dangerous, so let's try to drain the rest of that. I can osmos him too. I should remember that. I didn't actually want to poison him. Oh, I, mean, I guess I'm not going to be osmosing him this turn. Oh yeah, right. I can just attack. <laughs> there goes the rest of his MP. Oh good, he did the counterattack. Target Barrett, please. And then I do that. There we go. Let's see what I get from morphing these guys. If I'm stealing equipment, hopefully the morph is even better. Watch, it's gonna be like a grenade. No, I didn't get anything from them either. Okay, now I can just go to town on this guy. Oh yeah, right. Maybe I should have set up my barrier again. Alright, let's stun him. I'm, I'm actually gonna wait for his barrier to run out to expend the rest of my MP. 
at least with Cloud, because I can't Osmos him anymore. Maybe I should have had her heal. That would have been smarter. moment I'm just going to be whittling this guy down, but not for too much longer. There we go, his barriers are gone. So now let's start bioing him again. It's probably a bit too cautious about this fight because it's not really all that hard, but it doesn't hurt to be careful, I guess. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Didn't work. He just tried to arrow to me, that helped a lot. Even though it's not hitting a weakness, this Quake 2 is doing decently well. If the other guys didn't morph for anything, this guy certainly won't, so I'll be happy with my... Rune Armlet, Platinum Bangle, and Power Wrist. In case I really need that silence protection from the Rune Arm Rune Bangle or Rune Armlet or whatever it is. I guess it's really the magic of a defense that it would be its selling point unless I really want to get the double gross. Because the silence I can get through a star pendant, and that fits very well with my magic users. Whereas my magic users probably want the silver armlet if they're if they're already protected from silence with the star pendant. That is, unless I have an enemy with super powerful magical attacks. Alright then. So now it's time to dive into this mansion. How much AP did I get from that? Another 120-ish. So I'm probably going to have to spam Chocomog for a while to make it through here. This so looks like it's supposed to be the entrance that that red arrow is pointing to. I think I should go find the puzzle before I do anything else. It was here, right? So as I recall, there's hidden options here. The fifth row has been Melody. Fourth row has been uh, written in invisible ink. Dial four is right ninety-seven. I should write this stuff down. Got my handy pad of paper here for moments such as this one. R ninety-seven. There we go. All right, let's take another look at this. I wish I didn't have to read the first part of that the entire time. The lid of the box with the most oxygen. I think the I think the idea behind this one is that it's near plants. And I think it's one of the treasure chests. I definitely don't remember the numbers, but I can probably remember some piece of the puzzle, like, you know, the invisible uh, dial here. Behind the ivory short of T and Ray. Boy, I don't remember what that is at all. Ivory sounds like it would refer to a piano, but so does Melody. <laughs> left five, up nine, left two, up six. Well, I'm going to write those down as well on the other side of the sheet to avoid conflicting. 
creak on the floor near the chair on the second floor. Okay, so that one's pretty plain, but it requires some effort to actually do it. Alright, I remember the battles in here being actually kind of nasty. I do have Demi for these guys in particular. I can't remember if they are undead, so I'm going to try carrying him. Definitely not undead, but he is going to attack me for that. Alright, so I hit, hit it with Demi. This does double damage, so I think it cuts its HP in half as it stands. And then Garish can attack for a solid 800 damage. I'll try to morph at least one. I don't think I'll get anything really good from this guy. Weak against Bolt, weak against Gravity, weak against Wind. I think I want Barret to attack right now. I think this is one of the less dangerous encounters in here. A lot of the other ones are a lot more deadly. Demi Cutter. This will hurt a bunch, but. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. What was ex the revenge exactly? All he did was do a weak attack. Well, that's okay. As long as there's nothing more to it, I'll take a weak attack like that. Okay, so there's the piano. Um. What's that weird flash? Feels like I'm supposed to play a certain song on it, but I don't know what song. There's no safe here right now. I thought this is where the safe was. These guys. I think these guys have some status effects that are kind of nasty. be less nasty if I drop a chocomog on them. Alright, looks like they're not moving yet. So hopefully that some of their attacks will go in the wrong direction here. And I'll probably also hit it with nature magic to follow up since I've already done a decent chunk of multi-target damage here. Alright, that did not unconfuse it. Alright, I'll try for a YOLO morph, maybe? Oh, he silenced himself. I guess I'll try to morph that one. Ha, <laughs> perfect. Oh, so I'm assuming that's just going to try and mute something. Can't sort my inventory now. If that's it, then I'm never gonna mute. I'm never gonna morph one of these guys again. I'm fine with muting them. Uh, I'm just not gonna morph them. Where on earth was it? I think Eris doesn't confuse. Oh, she definitely confuses. I mean, she definitely removes confuse. Let's try stealing from it as well. Actually, I should have just morphed that one for kicks and giggles, since it would have been super easy, but whatever. Yeah, I think I'll have some chance to use Demi 2 in here. No, Mute Mask is not there. Oh, there it is. Cast Silence. Okay, it's exactly what I expected it to be. Um, hmm. That's not among plants or anything. 
Twin Viper. Isn't that a gun? Getting a gun before I even get the character. Gives me some options right when he joins, though. If I'm even correct. Oh, Twin Viper is actually a shuriken. Oh, that's interesting. Don't know if it's any good, but might as well check the lid just in case I misinterpreted something. enough to get my MP back from these guys after I've confused them, so. Thankfully, Curses is not going to be able to mute anyone except Barrett, and I don't really care if it mutes Barrett. This isn't going to kill any of them except maybe that one in the back right. Okay, it did kill that guy. And let's just hit Barrett hit this guy too, because I know it kills, so why not? Get all my MP back. Don't even care. Go kill it, Barret. I actually recall that last time around one of those encounters with the pumpkin heads managed to kill me. I'm not exactly sure what it did, but I'm pretty sure it involved status effects. It's a lesson learned. Watch for your status effects, even though I'm not doing that right now because I have no idea. I have no idea what status effects they actually inflict, so... Holy torch. So this is what now? <laughs> Too much for it to ask that it casts Holy, right? <laughs> Considering Holy's role in this game, I'm pretty sure that would be some absurdness. But Dispel is a nice thing to have a single charge of, because I'll eventually get Dispel myself, but I don't have it right now, so something has uh, a buff that I really want to Dispel, well, I might as well use that item. Okay, this is the box with near the plants. Basement key. Right 36. There we go. So that's two of the numbers. And okay, this is where the safe is. Okay, it hasn't changed. I'm just dumb and don't remember things well. I kind of want to take a look at the safe. Just for the sake of taking a look at the safe, but. Alright, open with Demi. It just hit so hard. I feel like this guy probably doesn't morph for anything whatsoever. Alright, I'm gonna have Cloud heal himself. Oh, he fell. So is he less or more dangerous? Oh, he got back up again. Okay. Oops, I didn't mean to actually select that. killed them with a counterattack again. I guess it's probably to be expected most of the time. Still have no idea what that move does. Considering Barret has no stats protection at all, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure what it could even do. If it is a status or something. Maybe it just kills some of the time. Failed. Whatever. So maybe that fifth clue doesn't matter? I I don't know what it means though, but I only heard four clicks there. I only pressed the button four times. So that would correspond to four hints. Enemy launcher. 
you know, maybe it gives me some uh, info on whatever's inside the safe if I play the right sounds or something like that. Enemy launcher hits all enemies. Interesting. But does it hit from the back row is the question. I'll try it real quick. No harm in that. I have... Maybe put on some lightning materia. I think the lightning materia needs some love now that I'm at a Midgar. So where's the creek in the floor? There it is. Whoops, why did I do that? My notes are on a physical copy for this exact reason. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, good enough. Left two. Oh, what's the trick to these guys again? I think the guys in the back alternate between getting hit by magic and getting hit by not magic. I don't know whether I should open with Chocomog or have Barret attack it. Whoa, don't do that. Oh good, it's long range. If it wasn't, I wouldn't like it nearly as much. Alright, so now I can use Chocomog and I think it'll do severe damage instead of like double digits. I suspect since these guys are all floating that they're all weak to wind as well. And now I'll Matrix Magic these guys. I almost should just kill one with the laser instead of Matrix Magicing them, but... Oh, well. Poor Cloud. <laughs> I feel sorry for Cloud now. Well, no point in using Osmos. Oh yeah, right. But I can attack with her staff to heal. I actually don't want his limit break right now. Because if I just attacked, I could probably kill the bow. But then again, that's not necessarily the best thing. One hundred four. Weak against gravity, weak against wind. I might as well drain its MP more. I guess Morph is only going to attack one enemy. Echo drops. Not impressive, but I got the first try, so I'm not going to complain too loudly. Ah, whoops. I, I think it's Reflect is going to run out first, which sucks because it was in perfect range to Morph. I don't even know how Barra got Reflect. It must be with their attacks or something. I hear it more, I'm going to be healing it more. Does the barrier remove reflect? I'm pretty sure it does. Okay, so the attacks don't do any more when I'm attacking a single enemy, I don't think. Now he definitely needs a full one cure two here. Ah, uh, come on. The reflect is annoying because I don't get an indication of when it pops up. Cloud is on reflect either, so I can't really. Alright, I guess I'll just drop the limit break on him. This might be a dumb idea. I should probably just kill it almost. This is unfortunate. I think Cloud can't attack without killing it. Okay, the only saving grace was that cross slash. If it wakes up and gets counter detected now, I'm gonna throw something. There we go. Morphed into a mirror. <laughs> well, it already was a mirror, so I'm not really convinced that the morph material did anything, but whatever. I'm assuming that this provides me with even more reflect. Just judging by how that battle went. At least I'll, I'd be controlling this, but 
Cast Reflect, yeah. Oh, back to full HP, and now I'm just gonna mash the button as I walk upwards. There we go. Right 59. Alright. So we're down to one clue that I'm missing, I think. Assuming I'm right that I don't need to work out whatever melody is. I need to read that other clue again. Really confusing word twister thing. See, the one that took me forever to work out last time was dial 4. But because it took me so long to remember it, and the trick is really simple. Between the ivory short of T and Ray. That makes me think of like a desk with T on it beside a piano or something, but. trying to think because it's it's the word T I'm trying to think of how I can remove T from ivory because it like that would kind of make some sense with wordplay like if the ivory was short of T and Ray it would be ivory minus T and Ray but there's no T in ivory and Ray isn't a letter so thinking I've probably gone into every door on this floor. I don't think I need to go in any more. I can just start mashing buttons near the piano. Nothing up there, as far as I saw. Curses doesn't help you that much, although it does do some meaningful damage here. They better not, like, all hit Eris. I actually suspect that after... Summoning Chocomaga, the Barret's attack will take them all out, so I'm really hoping that's the, the case, because otherwise I'm just wasting all of my Confuse. Well, at least one of them will probably die. <laughs> nice. Just watch them all die. my gravity material leveling up. Alright. I want to have a gravity all set up now. This isn't perfect. I'll try to swap around the barrier back if I get into a boss fight. But I've got it there at least. Which is enough to be helpful if nothing else. Even if I do forget to swap it back. Alright, so I don't entirely... I don't entirely get it, but... I found the clue regardless. Just by... Brute forcing it. So now I have everything. So I'm going to leave rest up before I open the save because and save because I'll probably die. You can on the save point right there, so I don't even have to leave Nibelheim. You're trapped here forever, Cloud. And after dying to whatever it is in this save, I'll probably end the episode there. So I think it'll be about the right length, and then I can go recruit Vincent and finish off the mansion tomorrow. Well, tomorrow. I say that as if I'm going to get the next episode out that fast.